Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, this is my first ever talking tutorial that I'm going to do, but it won't really be a talking, talking tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram so that we can see more of moi, it is looks by Leah 424. And hit the bell notification button if you want to be notified when I upload more videos, which will hopefully be a little bit more often than normal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And now, for what you guys have probably been dying for me to pull up now. So here we have our good sis Naked Cherry from Urban Decay. When I first saw this, I was immediately in love with it. Me and my friend who is into makeup but not that into makeup as I am, we both saw it and we were like, girl, we gonna have to get it. I'll try to go through all of the boring stuff as quickly as possible, like the logistics and how many mats and the net weight and stuff like that. As you all know, the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection comes with the eyeshadow palette, of course, two eyeliners, a highlighter blush palette, which I did not get, um, and I want to say a, oh, a cherry scented version of their all nighter spray and I think the collection comes with two or three lipsticks I know I'm looking at the Urban Decay website right now and I looked at their little vault thing that they have it's only a hundred dollars surprisingly and it came with three lipsticks but the only two that I really know about are devilish and juicy which Juicy is so pretty, and I really want Juicy so bad, but everywhere I've gone in store, it's been sold out, and everywhere I've looked online, it's been sold out, so hopefully, if they bring it back sooner rather than later in Ulta, I'm going to try and get it. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and try and get through the boring stuff as quickly as possible so we can go ahead and have some then, well, price-wise, I know the palette retails for $49. That's from the Urban Decay website on Ulta Online and in-store, and I think in Sephora as well, which is actually a little bit cheaper compared to the, their original Naked palettes, because all of their other Naked palettes are $54, so you save a little bit of point when you buy this palette. Um, let's see. It is cruelty free, like all of their products are. Um, let's see, it's full weight or net weight. You, if you guys are into that sort of thing, <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys really want to know all of that stuff, you can probably look it up on the Urban Decay website or Ulta website or look at the back of the box. But I know a lot of that stuff doesn't really matter to me sometimes with uh more expensive brands it would matter to me especially if it was the $54 palette but I mean and now that we've gotten that out of the way let's go ahead and get into the mattes and shimmers and whatnot like any other Urban Decay Naked palette it comes with these shadows and a brush which I've heard their brushes are actually really nice so I'm excited to use it all right let's get into these shade names and what these colors are. So, Hot Spot is an ivory matte, which I'm reading off of the Urban Decay website right now. So, Hot Spot is an ivory matte. Caution is a soft neutral beige matte. Bang Bang is a shimmering pink with gold shift and iridescent micro sparkle. Feels is a soft dusty rose matte. Juicy is a soft warm peach. Turn On, a pale metallic rose shimmer. Ambitious is a metallic rose copper. Bing, a deep mauve matte. Devilish reddish plum matte. Young Love Metallic Cranberry, Drunk Dial, a deep metallic burgundy, and Privacy, a deep brownish plum matte. If any of my followers and subscribers are true Urban Decay Naked fans, they know that the palette comes with a mirror, which I'm not going to open because I don't want to blind you guys from the light. It comes with two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, counted those wrong, but it comes with 12 colors as always, and then a nice little brush, which this brush actually seems a lot nicer compared to the ones in all of the other Urban Decay Naked Series palettes. And the brush comes wrapped in plastic like I'm guessing they all do, but this one actually seems like it's a lot nicer. I'm gonna take it out. The bristles actually feel a lot softer compared to the ones that I feel just from like playing around with the testers in the stores. So here is the blending side of this brush. Looks really soft. Then here is the shader side of that brush. And then in the center, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it reads urban, but it reads naked cherry, which I think is really, really cute. All in all, so far, my first impressions of the palette seem really good. I've already swatched this before, which is if I hold, which is the reason why if I hold the palette up close, it looks kind of beat up. If you want to see the swatches, you can look at them in the little highlight section on my Instagram page. So, now that we've gotten all of that fun stuff out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and get into the really fun stuff and create a eye look for you guys using this palette. And it's not going to be a talk through tutorial, it's just going to be like one of my little typical tutorials, it's like a little speed through. And I will see you guys later when I'm all done with that. just throw on my, some highlighter and then we will go into some lip swatches brand of highlighter that I'll be using is a brand that I've used for a while now it's from Solux Cosmetics and it is one of their newest highlighter glow dust shades in the shade after five which is this really pretty rose gold you can see how really pretty it is I'm gonna try not to spill some of it out but you really do not need a whole lot of this because a little bit goes a long way like they describe on their website Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and move into these 
lip glosses. Lip glosses are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got these from Ulta. This little set's only $25. Um, and it comes with four lip glosses. No more rambling. I'm just going to quickly go through swatching each of these lips. And I will end with the lip that I think looks best with this look. And then I will be back with my final thoughts. Alrighty guys, now we're back with Jerry's final thoughts. No, I'm just kidding. But no, here are my final thoughts on the palette and the lip glosses. My thoughts on this palette are that I love it, love it, love it, love it. I love the look that I created. I love all the colors. Like I said, the swatches are on my Instagram. I just think this, this palette just looks really pretty. The colors are gorgeous. I love like the warm colors the berry colors I just think they're gorgeous colors you can create a soft glam look with this or like a smoky glam or a smoky eye with this it's just it's the bomb palette I don't know how many of you guys have tried this palette or are planning on getting this palette but if you decide to get this palette or if you decide to get any other parts of this collection please let me know so I can know how you guys feel about the collection, whether you guys like it, whether you love it, whether you can eh, pass on it. It's up to you. On to the glosses. The lighting is probably kind of bad, so you guys couldn't really get a chance to see the glosses, but <clears throat> I love all four of these. They're really, really pretty. If you don't like a lot of glitter, then you probably won't like these glosses because they're really, really glittery. But I love, 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 love these glosses. Anastasia's glosses have had great reviews before in the past. Their regular glosses and their glitter glosses. I would highly, highly, highly recommend these just like I would recommend the palette. But these especially, I would highly recommend these especially for the holidays. Ooh, want to start doing skate? But yeah, because I know after my one of my swatches, I had glitter like all on my face. I'll probably still have glitter all over my lips. Once again, I know that like the lighting was bad and you probably couldn't really see the glosses that I was wearing. The one that I'm wearing with this look is the pinky one that's called Pink Tourmaline. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, so anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember, to, like I said, to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's any other types of videos you would like to see. I will be doing reviews and looks using the Gingerbread Palette by Too Faced, the Norvina Palette. I know I'm so late. And I'll also be trying to do a look that I use this cute little Stila Duo in. I'll probably just use a regular palette to go along with it because it only has two shades as you can see. Like I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day or night wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.